So this is the key for the test review number one. So problem number one, the square root of x plus 5 minus the square root of x minus 3 equals 2. The first thing you need to do is isolate one of the square roots. So I'm going to isolate that square root of x plus 5. So I add square root of x minus 3 to both sides. And I get square root of x plus 5 equals... 2 plus the square root of x minus 3. And if you want to write that the other way around, the square root of x minus 3 plus 2, it's the same thing. Now to get rid of the square root, I have to square both sides. So on the left, the square root of x plus 5 squared is x plus 5. On the right side, to square this, I need to write it out twice. And then fully distribute. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times the square root of x minus 3 is plus 2 square roots of x minus 3. Square root of x minus 3 times 2 is 2 square roots of x minus 3. And then square root of x minus 3 times square root of x minus 3 is plus x minus 3, because the square root times that square root makes it squared, and the square root and square root cancel out. So now I'm going to clean up that side. This 2 square roots of x minus 3 plus 2 square roots of x minus 3 would be 4 square roots of x minus 3. I've got this 4 and the minus 3 that I can put together to be 1, and then that plus x. And equals x plus 5. So I still have a square root, so what I need to do at this point is isolate again. So I'm going to subtract 1 and subtract x. And then the x's end up canceling, and I get 4 equals 4 square roots of x minus 3. Now at this point, I can get rid of that 4 that's in front of the square root of x minus 3 by dividing by it. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so 1 equals the square root of x minus 3. And I start the process again. So I isolate it, and now I square both sides. So I get x minus 3 equals 1. Add 3, and x is 4. Now I'm not done. I have to go back and check it. So to do the check, I go back to the beginning and plug in that 4. So square root of 4 plus 5 minus the square root of 4 minus 3 should equal 2. And at this point, you can plug that in your calculator if you want. I'm going to do it by hand. 4 plus 5 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Is 3 minus 1, 2? Yeah, so 4 is our answer. So the big thing on that problem is that you isolate that first square root, and then you have to square both sides. And the biggest mistake is usually made right there when you square that 2 plus the square root of x minus 3. So make sure you write it out twice, fully distribute, take the time to do that, and then go from there. Number 2. Same idea, the square root of 2x minus 1 minus the square root of x minus 4 equals 2. So I do the same thing, I isolate square root of 2x minus 1 equals 2 plus the square root of x minus 4. Square both sides. So you get 2x minus 1 equals, so I'm going to write out that 2 plus the square root of x minus 4 again, and distribute 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times the square root of x minus 4 is 2 square roots of x minus 4. Square root of x minus 4 times 2 is 2 square roots of x minus 4. And square root of x minus 4 times square root of x minus 4 is x minus 4. So now I'm going to take all that craziness and clean it up. 2 square roots of x minus 4 plus 2 square roots of x minus 4 is 4 square roots of x minus 4. And then I've got 4 minus 4. Those end up canceling. And then the plus x that I'm going to bring down. Okay, so now I have to isolate. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. 2x minus x is 1x minus 1 equals 4 square roots of x minus 4. Now, at this point, I'm not going to divide by that 4. Because if I do, I'm going to end up with all kinds of crazy fractions on this left side. 
So I'm just going to go straight to square both sides. So x minus 1 squared means x minus 1 times x minus 1. And when I fully distribute that, I get x squared minus x minus x plus 1, which is x squared minus 2x plus 1. The other side, when I square 4 square roots of x minus 4, I get 16 parentheses x minus 4. So you have to square that 4 as well as that square root. And so now we distribute and get 16x minus 64. So this is a quadratic because there's an x squared. So minus 16x plus 64. Minus 16x plus 64. x squared minus 18x plus 65 equals 0. And I can factor. So two numbers that multiply to 65 and add up to negative 18 are negative 13 and negative 5. Divide by 1 because that's what a is. So x minus 13 equals 0. x minus 5 equals 0. So x is 13 and x is 5. But now we have to check. So 2 times 13 minus 1 minus 13 minus 4 is supposed to equal 2. 2 times 13 is 26, minus 1 is 25, so 5. 13 minus 4 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, is 5 minus 3, 2? Yep, so 13 worked. So let's check 5. 2 times 5 minus 1. Minus 5 minus 1 should equal 2. So 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. Does 3 minus 2 equal 2? No. No, so 3, because that was five, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. Is 3 minus 2, 2? No. So x equals 5 is an extraneous solution. So I crossed it off. I labeled it ES for extraneous. So you have to do the checks. Because if you don't find that extraneous, you're going to not get it correct. Number three. Square root of t plus 7 plus 2 equals the square root of 3 minus t. So to isolate, I'm going to subtract that 2. Square root of t plus 7 equals the square root of 3 minus t minus 2. So once it's isolated, I square both sides. On the left, I get t plus 7. On the right, I need to write that out twice so that I can square it. Square root of 3 minus t times square root of 3 minus t is 3 minus t. Square root of 3 minus t times negative 2 is negative 2 square roots of 3 minus t. Negative 2 times square root would be negative 2 square roots of 3 minus t. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So I'm going to clean this all up. Negative 2 square roots of 3 minus t would be negative 4 square roots of 3 minus t. The 3 and the 4 I can put together and get 7, and then minus t. And equals t plus 7. So subtract 7, subtract 7, add t, add t. So t plus t makes 2t. The sevens cancel, and you're left with negative 4 square roots of 3 minus t. So at this point, I'm not going to divide by that negative 4 because I don't want to end up with a fraction over here that I have to deal with, so I'm just going to square both sides. 2t squared, that whole quantity 2t squared means 2t times 2t, so 4t squared equals 
I have to square the negative 4, so I get 16 parentheses 3 minus t. 4t squared equals 48 minus 16t. It's a quadratic, so get it equal to 0. 4t squared plus 16t minus 48 equals 0. When I go to factor this, I look at 4t squared, 16t, and minus 48, and I see that there's a GCF. The GCF there is 4, so I'm going to factor that 4 out of there. So once I factor out that 4, I'm going to factor t squared plus 4t minus 12. So my father drives a red Mustang. 1 times negative 12 is negative 12. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add up to 4 is 6 and negative 2. Divide by 1, divide by 1. So t plus 6 equals 0 and t minus 2 equals 0. Remember that GCF that was out there, that 4? That 4 doesn't have a t with it, so it doesn't create a solution. So I can just leave it out there and don't worry about it. So t equals negative 6 and t equals 2. And just like all the others, we have to go back and check. So when I plug in that negative 6, negative 6 plus 7 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, plus 2, 3 minus negative 6 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, is 1 plus 3, or 1 plus 2, 3, yes. Then we check the 2, square root of 2 plus 7, plus 2, does that equal 2 minus, yeah, I just wrote that wrong, sorry about that, equal square root of 3 minus 2. 2 plus 7 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3, is 3 plus 2. 3 minus 2 over here is 1, square root of 1 is 1. Does 3 plus 2 equal 1? No. So t equals 2 is an extraneous solution. Okay, the last one of those is number 4. And it's the square root of 3x plus 18 equals x. So it's isolated, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can go straight to squaring both sides. And I get x squared and 3x plus 18. So I need to move everything over with the x squared. So I have x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Remember when you do my father drives a red Mustang, you want x squared to be positive. So don't move the x squared. Move the 3x and the 18. It's easier to do my father drives a red Mustang when a is positive. So then my father drives a red Mustang. Sorry about that, I just hit the camera. Two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add up to negative 3 or negative 6 and 3. Divide by 1, divide by 1. So x minus 6 equals 0. x plus 3 equals 0. So x is 6. And x is negative 3. And just like always, we check. Three times six is 18, 18 plus 18 is 36, square root of 36, is that six? Yes. Then when I check the negative three, three times negative three plus 18, does that equal negative three? Three times negative three is negative nine. Square root of nine, does that equal negative 3? No. So negative 3 is an extraneous solution.